Hey, what is up guys? Guitar out here. Welcome back to another counter side video. All right, so let's check out the global patch notes and you know, let you guys know a little bit about what's happening in global server. Uh, there's nothing much, nothing major going on uh, in global and in C server. So a little bit of a slow week for counter side in both regions, right? But regardless, let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, global patch notes are out already. So uh, here's what's happening right now. Christmas Eve party on Countersite, so we're gonna have that. So as Christmas draws near, Countersite is celebrating Christmas Eve party. So, uh, C server has the exact same event going on right now. Uh, this is a rerun on C server because we have already experienced this last year. So if you guys are playing on Global, please consider reading the story. Alright, the story is actually really really good. Okay, let me silence. Uh, right now I have Tower of Fantasy open, so let me just uh, tone it down a little bit. So yeah, make sure you guys read the story. Uh, it's really good. Like I actually like the story. If you are into like detective mystery, mysterious murder case sort of th those kind of things, uh, this is for you. Uh, Shiyun, you'll get to learn a little bit about her. Alongside with Veronica, why is she there? Alongside with Sylvia, Xiuyun, and I believe Veronica as well, and Alex as well, right? So something to take note of. Uh, you can see Global will be getting all of this alongside. And the shop. So let's show you guys a shop because C server already got this one day earlier. Most likely, it's going to be the exact same one, right? So I don't think it's going to be any different. The event shops are usually the same. So except for the outfit, which uh, I already purchased this last year, uh, during the last year's event. So you can see, uh, yeah, you get all of this. Uh, this one obviously on the buy, five pulls, right? The Sylvia shards, up to you. Uh, Sylvia does get rearm in the future, so that's something that you can consider. SAPT, APT, and ship coupon. Definitely buy the simulation training permit. Now this one and this one, it depends. So these two are farmable. So if you can't finish this, I would say this is the least of the priority. But if you can still get it, uh, because it's still usually cheaper to buy from the shop than to farm it. But again, if you miss out on this, it's not the end of the world, right? But the rest, I would say pretty much a good priority uh, altogether. <clears throat> now, uh, we're also getting the this one, the Christmas Eve party event. So you're going to get a lot of binaries, which is crazy. Let's see if C server has the exact same one, right? Uh, yeah, C server has the exact same one. It's consistent within both servers. Uh, make sure you guys do all of these quests. Uh, this is your best chance as a free-to-play to get a lot, a ton of gold binaries, the set binaries. These things are so hard to obtain. I'm glad that now they're giving you more in events like this, right? Definitely very happy to see that. Christmas Eve party festival punch in. You can see you're gonna get 500 quarts all the way till the end. Very, very cool. Alongside with that, Aha! Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this ship. Should you build Aha? How strong is Aha? ETC. Uh, Aha is a very unique ship. Uh, it's favorable for you, for those players who like to play uh, defensive. Let's say you have a very solid tank Awakened Hilde in front, and you have plenty of rangers and snipers at the back. So if you like to play that kind of playstyle, Ahab is a good one. Because uh, keep in mind what Ahab does. You know what, I'm just gonna go into here and show you guys from the C server, right? Why would I show that one is so small and I need to zoom in. So I, I do think Ahab is a very good ship. I don't think it's a bad ship at all. Uh, will this do more damage than Enterprise? Based on my experience testing in most raids, yes. Ahab actually does more damage than Enterprise if at least half of your roster are rangers or snipers. As you can see right here, ally, ranger or sniper hit 30%. The hit is like whatever, but the attack speed is where it matters, right? Attack speed 10% is quite crucial. And then you can see how this is also, you actually get 20% if you can activate the ultimate. So the ultimate, what it does is, it basically creates a barrier and it pushes enemy all the way back and enemies will lose 80% of speed for 10 seconds. That means they will move slower towards the front. Uh, this barrier is non-cancellable, 20% of max HP. And while the barrier is up, uh, you know, which is indefinite in PvE if no one can reach your ship, you also get additional 10% increased attack speed. So basically you get 20% essentially, right? Uh, very cool. The active skill, the, the first special skill is nothing special. It just puts down in the DOT area and it just does a little bit of damage. And yeah, increase skill cooldown as well. Uh, basically, you know, affecting the skill haste of enemy units. But overall, Ahab in PvE, I would say yes. Uh, build Ahab if you can, right? I would say Ahab might be a better ship in PvE 
than uh, a lot of other ships right now, right? So I think it's, it's definitely better than Kamizumi if you are depending on your team, but you can try and experiment. I've done like, please search out my guide for a hub ship. I've done plenty of guides already. Uh, I don't want to dive too detailed about this. I can't even remember what I said in those guides, right? So you guys will have to look through the guides. Uh, but basically, our hub is definitely the top three. Top three ship in PvE right now, right? Definitely. Uh, until Chorus comes, uh, that's going to be later. I don't know when Global is getting Chorus. Okay, so special punch in. Next up, we have uh, a Fusion Core. This one is very, very good. You can see 30 Fusion Core. And then you have uh, Lucretia. Right, so Lucretia as well uh, at the added to the standard demand pool. Uh, all of these I think is pretty cool. Uh, to celebrate the in-house service expansion, we are giving out next step punch in. Oh, this one is specifically because of the integration of Countersite KR and JP server. So they're giving you a total of 30 plus 15 plus 30. Wait, that's quite a lot actually. 30 plus 30, 60 plus 15, 75. Okay. So they're giving you quite a lot. This is definitely enough for you to uh, limit Fusion Core 1 character to max. You know, definitely, you can get a character up to 110. So it's definitely very cool. I would say this is a very kind step from the developers. A uh, big shout out to Studio B side right here. Uh, yeah, I think they are doing, you know, they're putting the, themselves in the, in the right step or direction right now. Uh, hopefully, they can earn back the player's trust uh, despite what's happening with the collab, right? So I do think this is definitely a very solid move right there. Uh, that's a lot of fusion core, man. To, to be able to farm 75, it's going to take free to play like at least one month. All right, so with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, subscribe, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to stream shortly. But yeah, if you guys want to hop onto the main channel, bye. Take care. See you guys soon.